Hi everyone. I want to take you on a quick tour of our garage gym. This is, I think I can still call it a garage gym, even though it's clearly a spare room because this room used to be a garage and somebody rehabbed it. Um, before I do the tour here of the, of the rack, actually, I would just want to point out the space. This is our multi-purpose room. It is the everything space and we spend a lot of time in here doing, as you saw, you know, the kids' homework space and especially our work. We are university teachers, lecturers, and so we spend a lot of time at home doing our work and we believe in integrating as much as we can in our life, uh, as many different things. And this space definitely represents that. This space also represents our overarching philosophy to do as much as we can with as little as we can. So this is pretty bare bones. It's quite basic. And so far it's done absolutely everything I've needed it to do. And, uh, and even then some. So you've got the rack here, classic find from Facebook Marketplace. And it reminds me, the style of it, it's quite narrow. Um, it reminds me of Mark Ripito's book, Starting Strength which is how I began my fitness journey in earnest, which was strong lifts five by five that then led into starting strength. Um, but Mark Ripito has a, a, an illustration of a squat rack that looks just like this. Even though we are minimal, there's still a lot of excess in this space. Of course, the kettlebells and the bumper plates and the rollers I use a lot. This, um, <laughs> this is a little spiky kids ball. We use that for Pilates and the, um, mobility stuff really important. I will say the dumbbells we've not used often and this ab wheel also have not used very often. I love keeping it around though, because talk about integration. Our kids are a four year old. He's almost five. He'll take this thing and he'll roll it. And he'll call it his speed limit. And it's really cute because he looks a lot like the Wheeler people on um, Return to Oz. The Airdyne, again, you'll see this posted in the Facebook group a lot. People will say, hey, I've, I've seen this posted. I got this one for 70. And this, this, some old guy that just never used it anymore. And I thought about messaging him back. And, and I, what I wish I would have seen is, how many, how many, uh, you know, what was the number on this load indicator here? Because that'd be cool just to let him know, Hey, I've, I've put this many RPMs or whatever it is on the, on the thing. Uh, I want to, I want to highlight the punching bag too, because this is just a fun and a silly thing. I don't know how to punch. I don't know how to box. I've just seen some clips from Rocky and that this was also posted on marketplace and I got it because our kids have a lot of energy. They're seven, almost five, and one and a half. And so there's a lot of big emotions in our household, and, and that physical activity is good. I, I thought it would be a good thing for them to punch <laughs> when they get mad. It turns out it's a great thing to do when I'm tired of answering emails, writing lesson plans, and grading presentations. I'll come over here and I'll do like, yeah, I don't know, 10 punches on the thing or something. Then... I'll come over here to the squat rack and I've been really working on Anderson squats lately. I, I didn't today. That's why it's not set up and I'll just do a couple reps. Then I'll come back to the space. <laughs> so it's a cool room. It is uh, definitely helping to advance our life, our health, our fitness. And I hope this tour can also inspire you. I think it aligns really well with the garage gym athlete ethos and the overall mission of creating better humans. I started my journey with Garage Gym Athlete all the way back in 2016, maybe even 2015 with the OG podcast, Better Humanology. And I am one of those 10,000 humans. And let me see if I can't in the mirror here. I broke that right here the other day. It used to be a perfect square. So uh, here's my Better Human PR. I've got a red shirt that's on the way. Folks, thanks for spending some time with me here and uh, good luck on your journey. Thanks everyone.